Modern assisted reproduction technologies have helped countless couples experience the joy of parenthood. One such technology is in vitro fertilization, or IVF. Couples undergoing IVF eagerly await their due date to finally meet their child. But how is the due date calculated? Let's find out. In the case of natural conception, the due date is calculated based on the first day of the last menstrual period. Two methods are commonly used, Nagel's rule and the mathematical method. Nagel's rule works best when the patient has a regular menstrual cycle of 28 days. It subtracts three months from the first day of the last menstrual period, adds seven days and one year to calculate the due date. The mathematical method involves adding 280 days or 40 weeks to the first day of the last menstrual period to get the estimated date of birth. In the case of IVF, the exact date of conception is known since it is done artificially in the lab. The IVF due date calculator is much simpler since ovulation tracking is not needed. To calculate the due date, 266 days are added to the egg retrieval or embryo transfer date. The due date calculation varies based on the type of IVF procedure used. For example, in the case of a day three embryo transfer, 263 days are added instead of 266 days. While IVF due date calculation is typically more accurate than natural conception, it is still an estimate and a detailed medical examination is required to confirm the probable due date. Every pregnancy is individual and unique and constant communication with your physicians and fertility doctor is essential. In the case of multiple gestations such as twins or triplets, the IVF due date formula changes since a more significant number of gestations raise the risk for a shorter pregnancy. In summary, an IVF due date calculator aids the pregnant mother in planning her pregnancy, but the due date is just an estimate and only about 5% of babies arrive on their estimated due date. With IVF, the joy of parenthood is within reach.